earlier today, the Washington Post, they put out a story, uh, which I'm holding up right here so people will know I'm not giving fake news. Like, they might have. I don't know. And it says the State Department's entire senior management team just resigned. That came out at 11 o'clock this morning. And then we get word later this afternoon that uh, Donald Trump fired uh, the top State Department officials, including Patrick Kennedy, who had been in, the, in his job for uh, nine years. Um, and you also have three of his top officials, uh, the uh, Secretary of, uh, Assistant Secretary for Administration, Assistant Secretary for Consular Affairs, and um, the uh, Director of the Office of Foreign Missions, all gone. Uh, I think this news leaves me elated. Uh, I'd be excited if they resigned. I'd be even more excited if they were fired. Um, look, if they resigned, then this is reminiscent of all the pro-slavery Democrats who resigned from Congress in the wake of Lincoln's election in 1860. They basically vacated the place, and what happened? Essentially, they were replaced by Republicans. So this strengthened the Republican majority in the Congress. So similarly here now, the State Department, a constant thorn in the side of Republicans. They were a thorn in the side of Reagan, of Bush. They would be of Trump. So to clean that place out and fumigate it and bring in some new people couldn't be better news for Donald Trump.